We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about how to take a compliment. Now, I know, I understand that when we take in compliments, when artists take in compliments, they tend to reject the other person's, you know, compliment. In a sense that in their minds, they're thinking about, you know, comparing themselves to uh, other artists. Like, they, they may see their work as of course that they need to improve on it or so and that they're not deserving of that compliment and so that may be a good thing just know that improvement is like a never-ending process until death arises so even if you're you're a professional you're still improving on your craft and along my early journey as a a artist uh, when I would receive compliments from other people I wouldn't let the compliment sit in. I wouldn't have that positive exchange with the person that's giving the compliment. I would just completely outrule them thinking about other people. For example, like uh, other artists that I inspire to be like or so. Instead of giving that person that one-on-one attention and validating their compliment. And so some artists may think to themselves, Oh, why is this person complimenting me? There are so many other better artists out there. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that personally, I don't feel there's a there's such a thing as good and bad art. There, what is a thing is levels, and everybody is at a different level. And so the person that you inspire to be like may be level at level 100, and you may be at level 50. And the person who's complimenting you may be at level 10. They're complimenting you on your level 50 experiences. And you may be rejecting their their compliment, focusing on that level 100 person that you inspired to be like. But one thing to keep in mind is that artists are constantly improving and evolving. So there are, there are levels beyond level 100. And this chain of levels go on and on. And you as the level 50 artist may see level 100 as the pinnacle and may not be able to experience what's beyond level 100 until you get to level 100. Uh, likewise for the, the person that's, uh, pro- that's at level 10 giving you that compliment. Let's say that that's, that's some good experience you got there, buddy. And so, will the person be a bad artist for being at level 50? No. Will the person be a bad artist for being at level 10? No. Will the person be a bad artist for being at level 1? Of course not. They haven't even started yet. But to get into our minds that there aren't, there isn't such a thing as good or bad in art. There's just levels to this stuff. And to the artists that get discouraged of drawing and don't try and attempt at all uh, think in terms of a video game uh, usually when people play video games they don't automatically label themselves as bad even though they're starting out as level one it doesn't mean that they're bad they just haven't gained the experience yet of the entire game and how do you gain the experience by you know grinding up beating up enemies gaining experience points to boost up your levels and that's how you go about the game likewise for drawing and the skill that you desire as you're starting out as a level one artist or so you will get it you will eventually get it most definitely all that's needed is your experience knowing where to gain the get the most education out of what you want to learn knowing what things you've got to challenge yourself to gain to go to the next level likewise for a video game like you don't want to to get to the next level you don't want to keep uh beating down on level one enemies you want to gain more experience by gaining uh going to more powerful enemies so that you can gain gain the most beneficial experience points and grow faster and so the secret why other artists advance further compared to others and whatnot is they know how to learn properly they know where to find the experience that they need it's like in a video game 
think of an artist or you know you're training up to be uh to gain more experience to grow more powerful you don't want to constantly be training up on level one sheep enemies you know that's like level one stuff and you're doing this for like 10 years that's how you grow very slowly and you can grow really fast in one to three years if you know which enemies give the most experience points slash in art and in, in artist terms where to learn your art properly or so and what i need to uh, challenge myself on etc and so that would be the video thank you guys for watching peace and consider subscribing to the family so you can hit that and don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send notifications for you and then just save it. I also provide you guys a Discord or a place to chat. My Discord will be available in the link down below. I provide references, you know, for anyone that want to, you know, look into it. You know, so I have references for, you know, ears, breasts, you know, front torso, back torso, etc. And including hands as well. And this is where you can, you know, just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here, etc. That's just the basis of the Discord. Check it out, whatnot. And that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.